we're with Pip Boerter at the Dare to Dream Racing Stables, chatting about their runners at Hollywood Bet Durbanville on Thursday, the 25th of July. A bit busy day for you on Thursday. Um, and also how lovely to be back at Durbanville for this first time this season. Um, so race one, 1,000 meter maiden juvenile plate. Uh, this one carries that nice 100,000 Cape Racing sales bonus. You're sending out fencing captain who's joining us this morning. <laughs> so he debuted over the 1,000 in March, um, had a little bit of a break. Um, has he come on since then? Uh, yeah, look, that, that run was probably a little bit soon for him and um, he, he, he came back quite chinsaw after that race and that was the reason for the, for the break. Um, he's matured a lot since then and um, he, he was obviously working, working quite well and, you know, tried to get him into a, a, a quick thousand metre race where we, we were hoping for him to, to run well. Um, it's all been delayed a bit, but um, he, he's never seen Durbanville, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure how, it's, how he's going to handle the course. It's his, his first time there and, um, you know, being a, a, a very young horse um, that was all over the show first time out, um, he, he might be a little bit lost, but um, if, he, if he is quite sensible, uh, as he seems to be at home, um, he, he could run a decent race, so um, just very hopeful. Uh, race three, 1400 meter maiden juvenile plate, another one with the lovely 100,000 rand um, Cape Racing sales bonus. Your saddling darling girl, she was last seen out in May, so she's coming into this nice and fresh. Um, she might like this trip. Yeah, she's a filly that's been um, crying for, for, for the ground and, um, you know, she was just uh, immature and, and there weren't really uh, many races for her. So. Um, her last run was a, a decent run and um, we, we decided to give her a little bit of a break to just fill out and mature uh, a little bit more and then prepare for, for, um, for this distance. Um, she, she, she got a bit sick and, um, you know, unfortunately had a, a extended break. So, um, but she's come back well from it and um, she, she's been working quite well. Um, she, she's definitely not... Uh, 100% fit, but um, I don't think many of these horses going into this race are, so um, I I'm quite hopeful of a, of a good run for her. Uh, race 4, 1400 meter maiden plate, we're sending out approach shot, mainly been going up the straight, um, will he enjoy the extra here? Uh, so so, so Cornet's ridden, ridden this horse his last few starts and he's been asking me to um, um, put him over a bit further and um, the, the reason why I haven't done it is he, he's got a bit of a wind problem, um, you know, so I, I decided to, to keep him for the sprints and, and wait for Durbanville. Uh, Durbanville's now, now come. Um, I think he's going to enjoy Durbanville um, and it will help him with a little bit of extra, extra distance uh, because it's a, a quick running course. So um, I, I think he, uh, um, he, he will see it out, I, I, I really do. Uh, Cornet knows him very well. Um, he knows all the issues that he's had and um, I'm expecting a, a decent run from him. Race five, the 1400 meter open maiden. You're sending out the beautifully bred Sansa Stark. I know she's a little bit of a project filly for you um, and requires a bit of management, but on her day, she's just such a quality filly. Um, dropping her down to the 14 here. Um, yeah, how's she doing? Look, she, 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 she was doing very well and um, I, I think this, this break, um, you know, hasn't, hasn't affected her that much. Um, I mean, obviously we haven't done the work that we wanted to do with her, but, um, you know, she's a, a, a also a light frame filly that's um, very active and keeps herself quite fit. So, um, drawn a little bit wide, she, she, she's going to have to have a bit of luck in overcoming that, that draw. Um, she, she doesn't have much uh, gate speed, which is not in her favour from, from that draw at Durnbull. It's, it's a bit tough, but um, she's quite well and um, I think the, the dropping distance is not going to be too much of, a, of an issue for her. Um, she's freshened up, uh, you know, obviously from her, from her last run and um, she's only run the, the 1400 once where she, she ran second. So um, a good, honest f uh, filly with, uh, with problems, but, um, you know, she at the moment is, is feeling quite good and um, her, her problems seem to be under control at the, at the moment. So um, very hopeful of a big run from her. And then race six, the 1800 meter maiden plate. Um, this one's come to you from, um, sorry, style icon has come from, to you from Mike Miller. Has had two starts in the Cape so far, but not really been lucky with the draws, but he does have the one draw 
this time. So um, yeah, uh, what's he sort of? What have you learned about him so far? Uh, you, you know, um, San Lacon's first run year was um, was was probably a bit of a disaster. We um, went, went straight into a, um, a a race around the turn, and you know, obviously only running around the right hand turn, and now having its first run around the left hand turn, um, it was all over the show. Um, did everything wrong, and um, you know, it was just a it was a horrible run, I, and I, I realised that I'd made a mistake. Um, but the second run was a, a little bit better, and um, she she has improved uh, since since then. So um, you know, I, again, I, I think a horse that's that's wanting uh, um, the distance, and um, I, I'm just a little bit concerned about the the Durban ball. You know, it, it's 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 a very tight track, and um, with that long um, action, that's uh, a little bit all over the show. I, I'm I'm just not quite sure how she's going to handle the the the, the course, but. Um, if she handles it well, I, uh, I think she's going to run a, a much improved race. And um, um, I'm not expecting a, a winning run from her, but uh, you know, if we can if we can get into the to the placings, it'll be it'll be great. And then race eight, the thousand meter class five. You've got two in here: Lord Nelson and Question of Faith. So Lord Nelson also recently moved to you from Kelly Mitchley, and Question of Faith came to you from Durban back in February. Um, yeah, how are these two doing? Lord Nelson, I can't really tell you much about him. You know, I've got, I've got to learn a little bit about him. I, I saw that he was running over 2,400 meters and, and that. And um, when I started working him, he showed me quite a bit of speed here. So, uh, you know, I, ideally I wanted him to run down the down the straight. Um, unfortunately, we now moved to Durbanville. So, but I think he needs to get, he needs to get started. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that he can handle the the left hand turn. Um, he, he he does show a little bit of speed here, so uh, you know we we're just going to learn a lot about him. Um, I, I, when, when I when I see him work, he, he seems like a like a, a a more of a sprinting type of type of horse. So um, the, the form suggests otherwise. Um, but I, I you know I, I I really don't know what to say about him. I think we we, we just got to learn a little bit about him. Um, Question of faith is this is a, a little bit unfortunate. Um, you know, down the straight it would have been fine. Around the turn, this is going to be a bit uh, tricky. From a, a ten draw, I think it is. We we drawn right on the outside. Um, it's going to be a bit tough for 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 him. He doesn't have great speed at all, and um, you know, comes from from off the pace. And I think it's going to be a bit bit tough for him. Um, but he has definitely improved a lot at, at home. His coat and everything has just changed, and um, he's, he's a much better horse now than what he than what he was a month ago. So uh, I, I think had this run been down the straight, I, I would have fancied his chances a bit. Um, being around the turn now, uh, I, I think it's probably a horse that uh, you, you should not leave out of your quartets and and and, and that and, and bigger perms. But um, I, I think he's going to find this race a little bit tough. And then closing off the day in race nine, the 1400 meter class five, big field of 16 runners here, um, sending out Niall the boss and try me. Okay, so Niall the boss has um, been doing very, very well and um, improved with every with every run. And last time when Louis Rhoda, he, he told me she's she's now ready. Um, he believes that she's ready to to win if I can find a similar race. Well, this is a similar race to to last time, so um, I, I, I do feel that um, even though we haven't been able to do much work with her, um, another one of those that um, is very very active and keeps herself um, fit, reasonably fit. So I, I think she could run a, a big race here. Um, yeah, she's really settled in with you, and she's she's just blossoming. Yeah, she's doing well. She's doing very well. So I'm 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 very hopeful uh, of a big run from her. Um, Try me is a filly that she, she just keeps surprising me. She's a she's a tiny little filly, and um, you know every time she runs, uh, she's running with a lot of weight, and um, I, I, I'm sort of hoping that you know she can drop a few points and drop in the in in, in weight a little bit, um, and and she pops up and runs a good race. So. She's a very, very honest uh, filly, and um, she she she's not drawn that bad. I think six is not a I think it's six, and she, it's it's not a bad draw for 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 her. So, um, if she continues the way she has been, um, she's a filly that uh, she's probably due to win uh, very soon. So, um, a horse that you probably got to include in 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 most of your bets.